Elites. Welcome back to Saturday Sorceries. It's me, your Aussie host, Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're well. I hope you've had an incredible week. I can't wait to teach you this. So let's dive straight in. Now you've just seen me perform a cap inside a bottle. I like to call this Cappy McBottle Face. That's the name and I'm sticking to it. Now this came about from a couple of different comments we had on our last video about a can and can tab. And I started thinking about the can and putting the can tab inside the bottle, uh, inside the can rather. And I started to think about the method and I started thinking maybe this is a bit too obvious. I saw a comment come up about a bottle and I said, this is where I'm gonna combine the two. The idea from here, put it inside the bottle. Uh, and this is what we've come up with. Now here we are, this is what we have a gorgeous bottle here. It's all self-contained, ready to go at a moment's notice. Let's jump in to exactly how to build this. We'll come straight back up to teach you how to perform it all. Now to create this effect, you're gonna need uh, these things here. You need some magnets, depending on what size you want. You can go small or large, some super glue, uh, an X-Acto knife, and two soda bottles, preferably with clean, clear plastic. Um, you don't need the other bottle unless you want to make a mistake. You just need the two lids. So let's get into building. <sighs> All right, so we've finished that. We've got our two uh, our soda bottle and our two lids here. Uh, let's prep our lids first. So move these out of the way. I'm gonna use the big magnets. You can use the small ones if you like. Um, just depends on how strong your magnets are. But we're gonna use the big ones just so you can see them easier. Uh, and we'll put them inside the lids like so. So I'm gonna use a bit of glue, put that on the back of my magnet like this. Uh, if you have tweezers, use some tweezers. If you don't have tweezers, that's okay. And I'll pick that up. I'm just gonna put that inside our lid, just like that. Now, if you do want to, kind of harder depending on what color lid you have uh, and what kind of uh, magnet color your magnet you have. Obviously, it's gonna be shiny. You can go over and color it in and wait for that to dry and I'll color that in so it disappears, but it's gonna flash inside the bottle. So we'll do that in just a second. But now we're gonna do the same to this other lid, but we want to have it matching the magnet inside this bottle. So we're gonna carefully take off this label wherever the edge is here. Yeah. And if you mess up this label, don't worry, you've got a second bottle there to pull a label off. So we're gonna pull this label off very carefully like this. And what you're gonna do, so the whole idea for this is one of these caps is going to sit inside the bottle and be attached to a magnet that's attached here. And then when you slam this cap down on the, the bottle, it's going to knock this inside the bottle and attach this one to the magnet. So we're going to set that up. So I'm going to get this magnet, we're going to put it inside the bottle, but we're going to load this inside first. So I'm just going to get this and color this in nice and red. You don't want to flash the obviously the, the silk inside, but a little bit of this discoloration, you can obviously see it really nice here because the light is shining right onto it. But that inside a bottle, that's not gonna be seen at all. All right. So now we're gonna put this inside our bottle and we're gonna link our magnets up. So we're gonna give a nice little slit like this. And we're just gonna put it in the bottle. Like so, so make a slip. Give it a bit bigger, and we can slide this inside. Fiddly little bit. Get in there, please, a little bit. There we go, we're in. Okay, so now you want to attach your 
magnet to the inside or to your bottle so this is going to stick. You gotta find out which side is your attaching magnet. There you go. I know that's this is this side. But what I'm going to do is I don't want this to be seen from inside the bottle. So I'm gonna wrap my label around like this to hide it nice and well and line this up perfectly. Get that magnet out of the way there. And wrap that up. Now I'm here. I know this is the side that needs to be stuck down. So I want to find a nice place where I can kind of hide this uh, magnet on. And I'm going to attach some glue to that. And I'm just going to hide it there. That's where it's going to sit. Now, obviously you don't want it to be seen. So I'm going to use my second label here from my other bottle and attach that out top. And I'm going to kind of match up where that was. Just there. So I know that's where I want to slam the cap into later. So I'm going to attach some glue to this label here, like so. Or you could use double stick tape, which we can do as well, just to double secure it. So put that here like this, and peel that off. You can use glue, double stick tape, whatever you want. I'm paranoid, so I'm going to make sure it's well and truly stuck down. Now you don't need to go to this extent, you can just have that sit inside the bottle and uh, have that float about and people won't see the magnet, but if you really wanna go above and beyond, this is another way to do that. So I want that to be where I want it to slam down on. So you can see the magnet there. So now we're going to get that magnet to slide around to that spot where right, that little bit is there. And there you go, you can see the magnet stuck inside the bottle there. Now you're going to get this other lid. You're going to find out which magnet you need to stick to this. So there we go, we know that's the side. So we're going to pull that off, attach some glue to here. Like that. Set up and drop that inside your lid. Like so. And again, if you want my Sharpie, I don't know what's happened to my Sharpie. It's decided to explode. Let's color that in. Now, that is how it's gonna look. Now, we're gonna get into the performance. So, all you need to do is just set up. Just put the lid inside your bottle and you are good to go. Let's go into performance. Alrighty, so here we are, we've built our gimmick and it depends on how much detail you wanna put into hiding those magnets, it can take you. I've built this uh, quickly on just the fly when I first built it to see how long it would take and it took me about two minutes to build. But if you wanna really hide those magnets in there, it's probably another couple of minutes, literally 10 minutes tops to build this whole thing, but yeah. Uh, let's get into how to perform it. Now I'm going to show you how this works from the behind the scenes first and then we'll get into the performance straight after. But the best part is you, you're seeing right here when you first come to perform it, you can have the bottle on a bit of a tilt and no one's going to see. Uh, it's that nice little extra subtlety that there's nothing inside this bottle. So you can see here that label looks like there's nothing there. And that's because I know my magnet is here behind the QR code. I'm going to have that facing towards the camera on a bit of a tilt and there we go. We've hidden the cap inside. If we tilt it down, you can obviously see the cap in there, but on a bit of an angle, it's completely invisible, beautiful. And you can also obviously show your bottle, you know, uh, 360 degrees around, but up to you on how you want to do that. But getting into the behind the scenes, what you're going to do is you're going to come back up. Um, I know my, my uh, magnet and my other cap is behind this QR code. So what I want to do in the process of me undoing this lid, I want to rotate this towards me that's facing away from the spectator. I'm going to take this lid off. Okay, so here we are in the magician's point of view. I know the cap in my left hand here, I know I need to smack it on the QR code here. That's where my magnet and my other cap is hiding. So when I smack that down here, that's going to connect to the label and stick that on here. So if I take that off and hit that with that some force, that other cap is going to fall off inside the bottle, leaving that cap stuck to the label like so. So again, if I connect that up to here, put that 
cap over. There we go. And again, we smack it on. So like that, we're gonna smack it on. That's gonna fall in and stick. So now this is what your spectator is seeing. The cap in the bottle like so. And now you wanna turn it up, upside down and have this pop up like this. Now this is done in just turning the bottle 180 degrees. You don't wanna flash that cap on the back. You literally just wanna turn it straight up like this. Don't come around on any angles because you're gonna flash that cap. So completely up to down, down to up. And then while this stuff like this, what you wanna do is with your thumb inside the bottle here, you wanna be connecting with the back of the cap inside the bottle and pushing it against the side of the bottle. So that's gonna make that pop up like so. So that'll give a nice visual of the cap bouncing about inside the bottle. And you wanna have that really cool visual of it bouncing about, like you're, not, you're trying to get it out, but it's just, it's not coming out, it's stuck inside. So from the spectator's view, they're gonna see this. A really nice, that really nice pop visual. So now you wanna do the cap on the back and you wanna do your 360 degree view. And this is done by just putting your thumb on the inside of the cap. You could put it over the top if you wanna have it that way. But I find a bit more control inside the cap. So you can move it about if you need to. But you're just gonna keep it within that label and follow it around back to where your magnet is. And that's how you're gonna end. So you can even have your hand down quite low and you can have it follow around like this and leave it up or you can have your hand up on the label. No one's questioning where it is or what is going on behind that label. Uh, and you're just showing the bottle in 360 degrees. Show there's no cuts, there's no caps on the back, that kind of thing. You're using the label as cover. Now another little bit of a handling, if you actually wanna give your bottle out for examination, uh, you can do that. You're gonna come up here and you're gonna steal this cap away by using your fingertips. So all you're gonna do is come up, you have a PK ring, that could also work, but you wanna just come up and steal the cap away in fingertip. So literally grabbing it between these parts of your fingers, grasping it here and bringing it down. You wanna immediately wanna go south with that, come down and go into your pocket immediately with that, that cap. So now you've performed and you wanna reset your gimmick. You're just gonna slide your cap down and line it up with this cap. So you're gonna slide it down like so and you're gonna hear it and feel it connect to the other caps. You can see that they're both connected now. Now you can just take this cap off the back and screw it on and you're ready to go. Now let's get into the performance style of this. I probably wouldn't actually say anything to this. Uh, I'd maybe just do this nonchalantly in a bar, like I'm taking the cap off and trying to figure something out with the bottle and just watch people's reactions, watching me figure something out. But if you wanna create patter, please let me know in the comments below what you would say or tag me in your videos. I'd love to see your performances and what you come up with. So as I wouldn't be talking during this piece, I'm actually gonna talk through the steps again now. So you can kind of see, you saw what was happening behind the scenes as the magician. You're gonna be seeing the spectator again, and I'm gonna be talking you through the steps again. So I'd be taking the, having the QR code facing out. So you can see that label nice and clear, like there's nothing hidden inside there. I'm gonna take the lid off, turning it this around 180 degrees to face me. Tap in here, smack on the QR code. That's gonna stick on, leaving that stuck to the magnet here. Left in here. Then I'm here. I come back around behind the bottle. So I'm facing towards the spectator now. Turn this up 180 degrees. Pop that lid up. And then I'm going to turn this back around. Looking a bit confused about how that got in, kind of showing the label, showing the spectator. But there's no slits, no cuts in the label. Go around again if you like. You're here, get confused, and just ditch the bottle, go south, and walk off. So now let's get into the steal of the cap. So say if you've seen your spectator make eyes at you and you want to immediately hand this out for examination, and you want to steal the cap, let's get into the performance of that. So again, you're here, and take it back, unscrew the lid, come around to the spectator side, like you're kind of seeing along with them, smack that in, again, leaving that on the, the magnet there. When you're coming around to do the pop, that's when you're getting it in your fingertips just here. You're grabbing it as you're going in here for the pop. So you're trying to pop that up and you immediately ditch that and come down. So that's when you're stealing it there in the misdirection of you popping that up. You immediately come down, hand that out for examination. Now you can hand this out for examination. I wouldn't leave it in their hands for too long because you're gonna figure out how it's done. But looking here through the bottle, 
uh, at a quick glance that red really covers by the reflections on the plastic i can't see that magnet i can see it well i have actually yeah if i hold it up here and i'm looking up through the bottle like looking up through the neck i can see like a silhouette of a magnet up through the there but if i'm looking down in here unless you want to connect it onto the magnet uh, again that's why i wouldn't leave it with them for too long you wouldn't catch that because the reflection of this covers and adds a bit more uh, cover for you on the magnet. So that's how I would get into the performance and steal it away if a spectator is watching. So again, one more time, take that off. In the cap in my hand, smack that down, have that stick to the magnet there. Hand that out for examination and you go south with this and ditch it straight down in your pocket as you hand this out to them. And kind of take that back and say, yeah, I don't know how that works. And then walk off. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't leave it with a souvenir for them. Unless you're feeling very, very lucky. And you've made the gimmick even better. Um, which you could do. I reckon if you actually got some plastic, some red plastic from another cap. And put it over top of your magnet inside there. And they could look in. Um, but then you're still worried about the magnet inside the label. So up to you. Unless you actually want to have the magnet on the outside of the label. And you can steal that off when you steal the cap off you're left with an impossible object. That's also another way you could go with this. Now that's all we have time for for Saturday Soil Series this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I answered all your questions on how to build this prop and how to perform it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Or go back, I'll have a content or a, a uh, timestamps below on where you can go through and see certain parts. But again, please leave comments below if you do get stuck, I'd be happy to answer them. Now, if you do decide to perform Capping Milk Bottle Face, please tag us in your videos. I would love to see what you do with this uh, effect. It is oh, so much fun to perform. It's so visual. I hope you guys have fun with it. Now, if you do have any objects that you want me to build something with, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to like read them. I had so much fun reading the previous ones. They got my creative juices flowing and there's even something that I still want to go back and build. So please leave your objects in the comments below. Like I mentioned, it's going to be a mixture of gimmick building, slide of hand, impromptu stuff. I can't wait to show you all next what I didn't even know what's going to come in next fortnight. So I'm really excited to build some things and show you next fortnight on Saturday Sorceries. I'll see you next Saturday on Stumped. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. See you later.